Week 12, problem 4. Light of wavelength 550 nanometers passes through a slit of, well of width 0.2 millimeters. The width of the central maximum on a screen is 8 millimeters. How far is the screen, the screen from the slit? Determine the width of the first bright fringe, the side of the central maximum. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is draw a picture. So we have, let's see here, single slit, single slit, all right. So we have a single slit right here. We have a screen right here of some mystery distance. And it's gonna have a, I'm gonna say a wavelength like this. Oh, that's good enough. All right, so this is gonna be, this is single slit, mystery distance D, aperture size A, and the formula we're going to use is going to be y equals m lambda big D over A. There we go. So what this is going to tell us though is this is going to tell us the distance to a minimum. because That's how the single slit formula works. Um, but we want to find the width of the central maximum, this guy right here, on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the distance to the first minimum and then double it because that way we'll find the top We'll find the bottom, and we take the top and bottom, put them together. We'll have the whole thing. All right. So yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. So I have one times um, wavelength, which is five five zero times ten to the negative ninth times distance, which is eight divided by aperture, which is zero point two. Now I'll say 2 times 10 to the negative fourth. Eh, close enough. All right, so this equals 8 times 550. I'll do, wait a sec, 4 times 5. I can do that in my head. So it's like 2,200. 2,200, which is 2.2 times 10 to the third, times 10 to the negative ninth times 10 to the fourth, because I take this guy, negative fourth on the bottom is the same as positive fourth on the top. So, four plus three is seven, minus nine is negative two. So, 2.2 times 10 to the negative second, which is, let's do this one, two, whoop, point zero two two meters. That seems reasonable. That might even be right. All right, so that's the distance to the first minimum. Now to double that, we're going to get implies width equals 0 0.044 meters. Bam. Yes. Score. Zero four four. All right, make sure I didn't do anything crazy and stupid first. So one, because it's the first minimum, 550, because we have 550 nanometers, true, yeah, yeah, nanometers, negative nine, times with the central maximum on a screen, eight, eight, ah, it's eight millimeters. The width of a central, oh no, they gave us the width, okay. Ah, I totally led you astray, totally led you astray. All right. How far is the screen? We're looking for how far the screen is. Ah, uh, fail again. Ah, oh, we suck again. All right, so we're gonna rearrange this guy. This implies that the mystery distance D is M lambda over A times Y. There we go. One times five five zero times ten to the negative ninth. Check. Aperture. Two times ten to the negative fourth. And then eight, which I'm going to double. Wait a sec. No. The width of the central maximum is eight, so it means the distance to the first minimum will be half that. So it'll be four. Four times ten to the negative third. There we go. Now we're now we're doing better. All right, so then we're gonna have five five zero over eight. 
uh, I'm going to call this 5.55 times 10 to the negative 7th because 550 is the same as 5.50 times 10 to the 2nd times 10 to the negative 9th when their powers combine, 10 to the negative 7th. And then we'll have 8 times 10 to the negative 7th here and they cancel and we get 5.5 divided by 8 which everyone knows is bum 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 0.6875 meters. Hmm. I was hoping for something bigger than that. Oh well. That's pretty much similar to the answer I got earlier. Hmm. 0.6875. Okay. With the central maximum on the screen is that. Hmm. That feels unfulfilling. Mm. That's okay. I'll go with that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say true. Mostly true. Alright. Determine the width of the first bright fringe on the side of the central maximum. Hmm. Determine the width of the first bright fringe. Alright, so we're trying to find the width of this guy right here. So, right here. Up, up. This guy. This width. Why mystery? So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to find the position of the second dark spot. I'm going to subtract the position of the first. So I'm going to find y2, which is up here. I'm going to subtract from it y1. And that will give me this distance right here. So this is going to be, um, for the, so for the first one will be 2 times wavelength, which is, I'll just do this in terms of, this real quick. There we go. Use symbols. Factor out pretty much everything. And we have 2 minus 1. So now we have bum 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 550. Five, I'll do it down here. 550 five, times 10 to the negative ninth times 0.6875 to divided by aperture, which is 2 times 10 to the negative fourth. Yep. And we have, I'm just going to multiply this out. I'm going to ask Wolfram to do this one for me. So 550 times 0 0.6875, 0 0.6875 divided by um, real quick, I'm going to cancel this, 10 to the negative fifth, divided by 2. And we'll multiply the top by times 10 to the negative fifth. There we go. Let's we'll see if Wolfram did what I want. And Wolfram says 1.9 times 10 to the negative third equals 1.9 times 10 to the negative third. And they ask us for it in millimeters, so 1.9. So this will be 1.9 millimeters. Yeah, that's not too bad. So the concept here for the, so for the first part, this is basically two bright spots together. Um, so you find the uh, first minimum, and then I guess if you wanted, you could say you find then the negative one minimum, and that will be the total width of your central maximum. So since they gave us the central maximum of eight, we know that the distance from the center to the first dark spot is going to be half that. And so we use that information along with our formula to find the distance between the screen and the slit. And on the second portion, we, we have to find the width of the first bright fringe to the side of the central maximum, so this guy right here. So we find the distance to the second dark spot, we find the distance to the first dark, dark spot, and we subtract the two from each other. And that gives us our 1.9 millimeters. So, not too bad. No, leave that guy over there. Okay. And see you on number five.